have seen some of these guys at school, on lunch break, or even on TikTok. And some people say that these work wonders for kids who have anxiety or have trouble focusing. But do fidget toys actually work or will the truth just burst your bubble? I just saw this bag full of fidget toys and I think it's time for an unboxing video. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with an unboxing today of my latest fidget toys. So let's get right into it. First off, we have this like, I think there's another one in here. Let's see. We have this, and it's also a fidget spinner, which is really cool. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Anyways, so we have this finger massager. Honestly, this is really like nice. I like this. I'm, I might actually bring this to school. Save the biggest one for last. You could just be like at your laptop or whatever in class and then you could be like that's it for my youtube video don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell to get notifications every time i post a new video there are obviously a lot of fidget toys these days but fidgeting isn't a new thing before all these colorful poppets and these funky cubes people would just fidget with whatever they could find on their desk Grandma Alexia, what kind of fidget toys did you have when you were a kid? Well, back in my day, we didn't have all these fancy things you kids have. We just had the good old fashioned clicky pens. Studies have been done to figure out why people even fidget like this in the first place. People who use fidget items often say that having something in their hand helps them stay focused especially when they're stuck sitting or doing something for a really long time. Some people also say that having a fidget toy to touch and feel makes them feel calmer. This can be compared to something known as stimming or sensory seeking, which is a popular practice in the autism community. So stimming is just like a self a self stimulating behavior. Uh, it could be any, anything that gives you sensation. Essentially, it is used to help with self regulation. So it helps people with to regulate their emotions, feel a bit better about themselves, uh, regulate their attention. Everybody stims. It's not just ADHD and autistic people. And for people that struggle a bit more with that regulation piece, those stims can be a little bit more obvious or a little bit uh, a little bit more frequent. When you see someone fidgeting around, you might think that they're off doing their own thing or not paying attention. On the contrary though, for people with ADHD or autism, fidgeting can actually help them concentrate. The research so far has shown that ADHDers get a benefit in terms of being able to be on task more and being able to kind of let distractions slide a little bit more. Uh, when they're fidgeting compared to when they're forced to stay still. But can fidget toys actually help? You might remember these from 2017. Fidget spinners were super popular then. There are some people that thought fidget spinners actually helped kids with fidgeting tendencies and others who wondered if they were just a fun distraction. But clearly we've moved past just the basic spinning thing. And now we have all of these. I would say that for a lot of people, they can be a really good uh, tool to help focus. Um, one thing that's really important is that you need to pick the right fidget toy for you and the situation that you're in. As you may have seen, I'm, I've been fidgeting with my own my own toy here on camera, and because it's not loud, because it's not flashy or anything of that sort, it's just kind of a gentle stimulation that I can use. Whereas if it's something that gets a little bit more attention or requires very little input, um, those can be those can be more distracting than helpful. So are you a fan of fidget toys? Do they help you feel focused and calm? Or are they just fun and distracting? Let me know at CBC Kids News at cbc.ca.